Akon's football on the table and the block one small people. Today is all about Burkina Faso versus Senegal. Ah ha ha! Let's see who is going to move this evening into the finals while we watch the players warm up for the wonderful match this evening. And Akon football journey is going to be updating you in the community what the scores of this evening is going to turn out. So stay tuned. Largely because of the way Coach Melo has decided to use them in the game. This is Senegal then with Alo Osise. We spoke about him going back to that bench then and looking at those that came on in the second half and scored. So all of a sudden now you're beginning to see Kuyate gets to start. Sai is also a part of the team. It, it, it's, it's a team that has, in terms of talent, if you're looking at the names of the players just on paper, you know the qualities there. It's difficult to compare maybe Andre with those uh, on the side of Burkina Faso because the, the, the names are well known, the names are well established, but like Benjani says, for Senegal to show the quality that they have, they must prove it on the field of play. They certainly must do that on the field of play and um, I think we can expect that from them. I think they will deliver because they're coming up against a team tonight who will force them to deliver, force them to work hard. Um, just in terms of how they set up their, 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 their play, their, to compete against the best and be at this stage. And I think tonight they'll show that they haven't just been, uh, uh, come here by fluke. They are going to give as good as they get in this particular set of uh, So Noah, good evening. Maybe, just maybe then, let me also ask you the very same question. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, Burkina Faso um, have done an incredible job, you know, um, they came to this tournament, they started slow, uh, they, they lost their first game against Cameroon, but we speak, you know, that's the beauty of this game. Uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it's great scenes, of course, coming out uh, from your window. We also heard that it's been raining a little bit earlier on, you can see even on the side there, the athletic track is wet. Now, Burkina Faso, this is the starting lineup. Now, Andre, I know we're going to get even closer, deeper in, in, into the analysis, but theirs has also been a story of a solid block when it comes to how they defended, how they protected their goalkeeper, Kofi. Yeah, brilliant. And I mean, a lot of credit must go to the coach, Kamu Malo, for the way he's always put teams out to be attacking teams, not to give the opposition too much respect. And I think, and we'll get the guys' views on that when we look at the tactical lineups, but I think he, as you saw there, probably has put out closest to his best possible starting lineup tonight. On the other side, uh, Alu Sisa then has looked to the bench because you'll remember then that uh, Kuyate came on, he scored, Sa came on, he scored. He rewards that, says, okay, you guys get to start. Here is the starting lineup uh, of Senegal, uh, Asamoah? Yeah, yeah, um, I think Kuyate came on and he proved his work. You know, um, I think the game before he scored. Fourth place in 98, runners up of course in 2013, third place in 2017. Just quickly, Andre, on 2013, a real hard for his best finishes, fourth place in, in 1965, fourth place again in 1990, then runners up in 2002, fourth place in 2006, runners up again. Man, this is, this is, you spoke about in Asamoah, yeah. uh, Kabore. Yeah. His, his ability down the flanks and how he forces his strikers to get into key areas for crosses. Yeah. Going to be key today. Yeah, uh, as I To go and press them high. And then, as we saw there, we got these players making runs in behind, or these players in there, opening up here for Kabore to make those runs down the wing there for crosses inside. Do you think, Asmo, we'll see them sitting back and play more counter-attacking football, for example, or, or are there a team who are going to try and get in the faces of your Koulibaly in defence, Diallo in defence, and literally make a nuisance of themselves up there? I think, I think, um, I think the first five minutes is going to determine how the Senegalese are going to stay back because of the, yeah. the flanks, you know, to, to see whatever they've got before they start. Because this, all this game, the Senegalese have been dominant. They, they make sure they take away your strength, you know, so that is how they have been, uh, They've been doing that all the time, the Senegal. That's why you see they are not conceding even more. Yeah. And I was talking about the Burkina Faso, okay. that they will, uh, they will, as soon as they win the ball, they will attack them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> I mean, th this, is, this is a topic for, for, for debate. Certainly, we don't know how they will set it up and how they will approach the game. But I think the fact that we, we are kept guessing in terms of how they will set up and who, how, how they will press uh, for both these teams or if they will sit back and play camp type and football because that's the clips that we picked out mm. in their games leading up to it. So from a Burkina Faso perspective, 
They look to go over the top. They look to make runs in behind, which means that they do sit back, try and break down the play, and then catch um, opposition teams on the counter-attack. And that, for me, is going to be key um, to see the way they approach it. Many people are also commenting the fact that it's two countries that are more coached by local coaches. Amazing. Uh, that is what um, Africans want. You know, they want their um, people to be coaching them. And uh, I'm so proud of these uh, two coaches. You know, they've done incredible work for, for their countries. And um, we look in the future to be seeing... My, 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 my issue here with this is they're coming up against the Senegalese defense have conceded one goal in this Nations Cup. So when you look at this particular area here, that is going to be key for them. Now, do you have a strike force in players like Mane, for example, Didier, Dieng who comes in now, will they say, we trust you in defense and we'll 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 go we'll put the numbers in there we'll we'll clear it, your, your lines for you and we'll put them under tremendous attack because we trust in our defense and remember we're talking about the defense who in the beginning of the tournament had no mendy had no gomez the number two goalkeeper but still were able to keep those clean sheets all the way so that is certainly credit to this particular team here as long as you've got for example these two gay goes he can tuck in there for example he can go up there, he can go up there, and if he needs to come back in here, if Gay needs to come back in there just to clean up in the middle there, that means that this defence is always protected. So I think it's maybe a bit of caution, Masamoa, um, as they start the game. And I think um, if you watch... Um, the